able to get all the properties. In the previous video, I was get the register razor page, and in the pages uh, folder, I was create account folder, and in this uh, account folder, I was add someone get registered razor and uh, add services. Uh, add uh, services or repository, and which contain the only register method and uh, in the implementation method we will implement the authentication repository so uh, after that i will get static advance so in this uh, folder i was just create the some add the ap url and uh, this and the base url so in this video i am going to to uh, Format the uh, format setting for the uh, register form. So just do it. We have to move this class into at uh, this place. And here this will be the form. I will just replace all of the new and after that I have to inject the navigate property inject navigation major is left left so And now I have to call this this uh, repository to implement uh, here to perform the uh, user registration activity. So I just give the name it like at thirty four. And now I have to add the references. Uh, just copy this and go to the uh, import dot user and uh, add this here. So now you can see that the bloodline is moved. So I can use this in anywhere in the user uh, user. So I have just create the boolean type variable which will be the which will be to validate the is the result is succeeded or not. default video and set is false so just call it now i have to register the user for it and after that call dot register and i can take the model so which is the user video now I have to validate the response is true or not so if response is equal to true then it will be navigate to the navigate to the default endpoint or the home page when we love our application load so 
else it will return that is succeeded for two It will be is uh, field. I uh, it's my mistake. Login for register field. Then it will turn to you. In the case of if uh, the uh, user get uh, uh, don't register in the system, then I will do this. Uh, it will call to you. So now uh, you have to display the message here. If uh, this field is equal to two, then what will happen? So, in this case, I just go to here and add some bootstrap alerts. This is the get bootstrap.com. You can uh, uh, take any alerts. So, because this is um, bootstrap alerts, this is stable. So, I have to just copy this and Text here, I have a text here. The thing went wrong, and I have do some validation. Uh, so do some configuration for the uh, register folder and add the steps uh, key and. Now I have to update the uh, static errors. So now you know I have to update the static and and just add it here this uh, base URL for the IPA which is the uh, URL for the this project. So after that I have to add the URL for the uh, register. So I have to just copy this and paste it here. And uh, oh, it's my mistake. Just copy this and paste it here. And move to the register and copy this URL. So paste it here. And paste the enter up and name it the. user so you know I have to run my projects and uh, first I have to set some properties set multiple projects run so after this as you can see that here is a multiple startup project so both project will be done when i click on the start so let's test our register api So this is a swagger a people that can be running successfully. So now move to the Bezos server project and uh, click on the register and here 
it's showing some error you see there was the error okay 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 here's a mistake i have not registered the author repository services in the uh, program dot css file so i have to just research this service and uh, after that this issue will be resolved Services dot add plugin. So first, I have to add the interface. Yeah, and after that. So add references. Just run the project now. So now the issue will be resolved because I have added register service uh, services in the program that. CS5. What happened with you? I find the mistake. I have was not just registered the builder dot uh, client so builder dot services dot add add client. Uh, so hope now this the issue will be fixed now. So just run the project and see that what happened. So. Uh, you can see that uh, no error comes so both the projects are running successfully let's see that what happening So just move the together project and stop the register. And try to register for down first name. And the dark plan. Password will be the Just add some big point here. Just implementation and uh, in the the pay account controller that register method. Let's move to the yeah. I think something went wrong by the formula not submitting. So let's try with the new user.
the submit and uh, you can see that the advantage uh, working fine first name email and password is required so just add the test user again and password will be based with the numeric and alphabetic characters so just submit and now you can see that so target the handle registration form so i was at this on validate submit pass the function name so and in the user duty all the values are coming that i have passed from the blazer form so this is the form and now go to the next and again here so it is as it the uh, author repository of register method and just uh, call to the api method api controller endpoint and you can see that now we are in the account controller which is in the api's project and the which is register you can see that all the values are coming that those we have have uh, submitted for uh, register the user so just watch what happened so user has uh, registered successfully so the response is equal to you so it will be navigated to the default page of the so we have uh, registered user successfully and uh, for that we created in the register account folder and in the account regulated register user and uh, create ua um, implementation and uh, if uh, you user of your register post uh, field so uh, display the error message Display error message which is the bootstrap and create a uh, repository and after that register the repository services and also register the HTTP client. So thanks for watching the video. And uh, in the next video we will implement the login logic to our ASP that target core blazer web application. So if you have any question you can put your question in the box.